Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Panda Pops and in today's video I'm going to try and do something new and if you guys are interested in this sort of thing please leave a comment and get in touch and stuff with this. If you are new here don't forget to subscribe and please hit that like button I would really really appreciate it. The new thing I'm going to do as many people might know I am actually a pre-launch asset artist for the sandbox. I also stream officially on their uh on all their channels on Mondays, that is 7 p.m., uh, sorry, 6 p.m. GMT. So convert that to whatever it is for you. And then I stream over on my own channels um, every Thursday at least, and I might throw in a few other ones here and there. But someone asked if they could possibly send some stuff and get critique and feedback and whatnot. And I would like to make that either like a future just live stream that I do or a future video where a bunch of you will send in to the email that I will put in the description down below but it's also my contact email if you are interested in sending this uh subject it uh voxel review or vox edit review just something to to show that it's for that if you don't put a subject being voxel or vox edit review then I most likely will just not look at it at all uh, because I, I assume I'm going to get bombarded with emails, um, whether it's now or in the future. So make sure you are titling that. But yeah, it's uh, so one person did send me there. So I'm just going to do the video on this and also saying this is something I would like to do. And if this is really well received, then I would like to make it like maybe a monthly thing. So I do it like once a month where I'll just uh, have a look at everybody's stuff. But yeah, so this person sent me it, um, let's do it, let's go. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open these out, talk a little bit about them and mention a few things that uh, this person wants to be able to do and how I would go about doing them. So with the reef, I firstly, very nice, very creative. I do think it is a little on the large side. You remember um, 25 is roughly the same width as a human. So it's not very often you're going to have a giant reef. You want to try and be getting these uh, roughly within proportion. Unless you're going for like a giant Santa theme. If you're making a giant Santa for your game or, you know, everything's going to be much larger, which then this can work. So for the lights, um, it's been mentioned you want flashing lights for the reef and you want flashing lights on your tree. So I'll cover this. What you need to do is you would make your reef to make this. I would suggest a little bit smaller. Uh, depth wise, like the, with the height, I think that's OK. You could probably knock it back a little bit. I am somewhat worried about the amount of faces on this. You don't want too many faces on things. You could get the same bow effect by um, just colouring it in. And I will show this on something in the future um, because this isn't letting me edit this at all, which is going to make it very hard to show you what, like how you could make this better. But uh, reducing the faces would definitely help you don't need this many faces that's that's going to going to be quite hard to have in a game so with the lights choose the colors that you want to have flashing you've already sh uh, chosen some i can see the stars people can't see them on here because my my face cam's covering it but you got the stars uh down the side here um if you click this button up here it will um make it like bright light up so you Choose whatever you've done there, whether you want it to just be a dual colour or a bright colour. And then what you want to do is in a separate model, just make whatever size your lights are, make those. And what you're going to do in the animator is you would make an animation, have those lights come up and you would be hiding them within the reef or within something and you would have it inside and then keyframe so however many seconds you want and then have have the light come straight up and then go back down and then however long straight up go back down and that will make it as if you've got lights going on and off on it which is absolutely beautiful uh but otherwise this is very creative do like this um the only critique is too many faces straight off the bat 
It might be a little too large, but depending on the proportions of everything you want going on, it could be okay. I do think it is a little large. With the bow, you can uh, just make that on here. So I would make the top flat. Have all of this, get rid of all these bits up here, get rid of your bow up there, and just have that flat. You could do just the ribbon coming off of it. And that would be fine. But yeah, you've got, got one too many faces. And to make the light, like make it look like it's lighting up, you will want to make it something separate. So you make a separate model for the exact size these are. And you would just place them inside and you'd have them pop where you want them to be lighting up. Then we've got the Christmas tree. Let's have a look at the Christmas tree. Like this, uh, critique on this, once again, uh, one too many faces, I think. It's, it's better than before, but it does seem like one too many, one too many faces. It's got a small trunk, so, um, you gotta remember as well, you need to make sure you are trimming it. Uh, height, the fair height. I, th I think the sizing is good. The sizing on this is absolutely fine. I like it. You gotta remember, um, the avatar human sizes are the humans are one meter tall. No, sorry, two meters tall. One meter block is thirty-two by thirty-two. Uh, so the humans are roughly two meters tall, uh, which is sixty-four voxels high. This is one hundred and twenty-eight. So it's about it's like a double it's like two two humans on top of each other which is absolutely fine the same goes if you uh with the lighting up of the tree you place your you would make separate voxels here and uh you would just place them in now obviously what you don't need to be making okay like you go okay i want this lit up want that lit up want that lit up want that like you don't just go okay i want like 20 lights and make just 20 separate ones you would make like a red one and a green one and then over on the animator you would then place it in and out i'm just wondering can i, I want to check Oh, this lets me do it. Okay, for some reason the reef is being weird, won't let me edit it at all. But this will. So that is good. Yeah, these are two by twos. The light on top of the Christmas tree, I feel like it could be there could be more to it. But that's that's fine. Once again, it's the same issue with with the faces on it. Because it is quite bushy at the bottom, you don't really expect an avatar to be able to get up really close. So you don't need to worry about sectioning like the trunk and the top part. So that that's fine. That could all be just one asset. Absolutely fine. Let's go out now with the Santa sleigh. You did mention you wanted it to be so somebody could get into it. Um, to do that, you cannot make it like this. This. Uh, when it's in that, it is as if it's got a, it's in a box. You got to think of all of this as like a box and it's like an invisible wall. If you want, so a easy way to be able to do this is if you just wanted to make one side get in, um, in which case you can just have all of this as one thing there. But then you would need to make uh, this bottom bit just separate. Um, like literally just this bottom bit, not this bottom going up here, just the base bit um, and this bit. And then you would have this separate, the side bit. You would make this bit all separate. So it would be, you could go into the middle. Uh, with the chair, you would just do a seat on its own. So don't just have all of this. You need to make it so there's none of that invisible wall going on whatsoever. And I comment. So I'm just going to move this over here. Um, I'm going to put this in delete. And I'm going to call it a uh, feedback. Right. Um, one of the things was you wanted to be able to put the reef on the sleigh. So this is you do it all here. As you can see, there's this invisible box, which means if you've got a character, your avatar, you're not going to be able to get into it. Something you can do, uh, and I do suggest this, is you can copy it and uh, just name it sleigh side and then on the side, edit it. And what you want to do is just delete everything that you don't 
one in there. So you're just going to pretty much delete all of this side bit right here. Just there. So the height of where it goes in, where you want somebody to... Oh, please trim. If I save it, will you let me trim you? I'm just going to add this to Reef just to see if it's done it. No, see, it's still got that big box right there, which is why you need to be able to trim it. Trim it. What if I just did... Uh, I had to do this the long way and reduce it by hand, but you get the idea. So now it's fully trimmed to the right size. And let's just uh, create a side. So, and we'd move that to the side of the sleigh. And as you can see right now, it's, there's just that box right there. Your avatar can enter it. See, see the difference there? It, that's right there. So an avatar can jump and get on. Whereas this is like a invisible box and you can't get on it whatsoever. So you would have to separate everything um, to those to, to be like that. So you'd want these bits separate. Uh, have this side. You could probably get away with just having this whole side by itself. Just like from that box, oh, from that box to there, and perhaps this bit all by itself. Um, the chair would have to be separate because it would make sense for him to stand on it. I don't know if you can make him sit on it, but you could definitely have somebody get on it. And yeah, so you could definitely have somebody get on it, but you would need to separate it. So being able to add like a reef onto something, you move it onto there. And your pivots are not in the right. Yeah, your pivot is up here. One thing you need to make sure you do is have your pivots on uh, zero, at least zero. Try and center them as much as possible. Like for where you would center them. And then we would just rotate it. And rotate it round. And I would just place it like on the back of the sleigh like that. It, in terms of the size of the reef, uh, if it's to go on the back of the sleigh, that's actually probably a really nice size. Um, but yeah, you do need to look 4,000 faces. You've got to, and I mean, that's kind of included in that. Let's, uh, delete that, but it's still 3,009, too many faces. You really need to get those faces down. And most of those are going to be on the reef. Yeah, look, it goes down to two, two and a half faces right there. So ways you can reduce the faces on this. So I would say, um... Okay, the trim on the back, you could get a similar style to this by just having it be painted on instead of having extra voxels come off of it. You could just do different shades on here to give it that feel and that would help you out there. Same goes for down here, just having like, you've got these random little cuts there, they're nice. You could get a similar image of that going on with uh, just different like darknesses of shades going on there. I mean, I love, I love this. I think you can get away with having this many faces if you reduce the amount of faces on the reef, avoid you going far too high on the face front of things. Uh, but otherwise, I really, really like this. Uh, love the coloring. Coloring theme's fine. But yeah, to be able and uh, the, with the lights, you would make the separate lights and you would hide them inside the reef on there. And when it comes to doing it on here, uh, you would have them placed and then do it to there. And then I personally, when it comes to having lights flash up, you have it on where they're hidden inside. You take it, let's say you want them to come up after one second. You take it to the keyframe right before one second, make sure they're still at that point and then ha move it to one second and have them in the position where they're shining or uh, you've filled them or whatever you're doing to them. And then um, however long you want it, 
stop it there. Let's say you want the light to go off after that that much. Right before, you have it in the exact same position. So you press, when you click it, you would press the same little arrow. And then the next one, you would move it back in. Um, and that way, it's it's instant. It, it sort of goes like, it's in the same place. Uh, it still knows it's in the same place. It doesn't need to be moving to the position at uh, one second, because that's when you start to see things like, slowly move in and out and it doesn't give you that sort of flash um image which is obviously what you want to be getting of like lights coming on and off rather than lights slowly moving in and out i hope you enjoyed this if you do want to send me um things to critique on and give my opinions on and what you could do better or change up or just how much i absolutely love what you guys make you just wanted to show things off uh, definitely send them. I will link in the description where you can send them to and make sure you ask, uh, putting a subject to that as uh, voxel, voxel review or voxel feedback, vox edit feedback, just something so I know that's, that's for that. Don't forget to subscribe. Please leave a comment down below. What did you think of James's? That's the person who made these, James. Absolutely brilliant stuff. I do like it. Um, check back on some of my previous stuff i have done a lot on animations if there is anything you would like me to cover in what to make then please do let me know and i will make a tutorial on that if there's something you're not too sure on i will try to make tutorials on those i hope you enjoyed it and have a good morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world goodbye